and it's why I don't want to walk away. It's like a casino. And when you figure out how it works, it's hard to change. Yeah. Like that, that's the weird thing about this is there's a new software, there's a new company that's that, that you need to be on or a new social media platform or yeah. whatever the fuck it is. But I think that's the coolest part about this is how many jobs are there in the world where you don't want to retire? Yeah. Not a lot. Yeah. I mean, I'd say the 99% of the world is their goal is to not have to do it anymore. Yeah. I feel like if, if people could have the opportunity to feel that way about whatever they're doing, the world would be a lot happier place. Yeah. And it's crazy because they have the choice. Oh, I shouldn't say it that way, but I feel like you know what I mean, where it's yeah. like, there's nothing special about me besides that I'm just like really stubborn. But you also found what you love. Yeah. And, and that's true too. I, I did try a lot of things and I feel like everyone should be doing that. But um, I wasn't good at music when I started. Like it, it all, this whole thing spent, like stemmed from, in high school I was bored and I put out a song and everyone said it sucked. And I was like, oh, you motherfuckers, just wait. And then yeah. 11 years later, you're like, this is my job and I'm, I'm going to go tour. And then I was on TV and I got this crazy stuff going on behind the scenes. Like, I don't think, I feel like anyone could have done it, I think is my main point. But I guess that's, a, it's also like, that's just the perspective of somebody who's willing to do what it takes. Exactly. That, and that I should say that too, because a lot of people aren't willing to do what it takes. No. And some people don't yeah. want to. And, yeah, that's, and that's also fine. fine because there's a lot of points where I, like, I'm having a mental breakdown once a week, like, and I'm just like, and then I sat, sit there and I have that moment where I'm just like, I wouldn't want to do anything else. Like I can take a break for a little bit. I'm super stressed. And then it's like, wake up the next day, switch back on, try yeah. it. And like you see a, a blue car drive by and you're like, blue car. Yeah. And then, then a song pops yep, in. Exactly. And do you think that you could ever see yourself hitting other verticals that you'd enjoy? Like using, using what you've gained from your music career, doing film, doing anything outside of the music world? I'm going to keep going back to the game thing. And this is like an epiphany I've had on this podcast because I've never talked about it like this. So it's like, if I can think about it like a game, I'll probably like it. And another big thing that a lot of people frown upon that I'm very good at is crypto. Really? Uh, and I got super into it over the pandemic because there, there was so much uncertainty about what was going to happen that I was yeah. just like, where should I put my money? Like, what do I do? And Bitcoin just kept coming up and I put it in on Bitcoin, at like three grand and it had that whole disgusting run up. And then I was like, what is this? You I put wanna... it in at three grand? A little over, like it was like three to four grand when I started buying it and it was going up but I kept buying it. When did you pull out? At like 59. I didn't have a whole Bitcoin though. Like I'm not going to come up and cap like I had a whole, but no, it no, still no, made a ton still. of money. And then I was just like, okay, something clicked with that. Like how do I, cause it like something about like 99% of people lose what they put in crypto and I like got lucky and I won and I was like, I could maybe be good at this. Like how do I get into it? And for now, like what the past three years for four hours a day, I'm like, looking at crypto stuff when I'm not in the studio. Still. Still. Oh, super obsessed. Super Unreal. obsessed with it. And then that got me into like investing in stocks and like day trading and stuff like that. And just trying to be smart with my wins and like making more wins from wins. Like my music win was like getting my big record deal. And I was like, I'm not going to buy anything. I'm going to invest it all and not be an idiot. Cause I always, I'm terrified of becoming that guy that like blows all their money and like falls off and yeah. like tries to act rich and then goes broke doing so, you know? It's so you're smart. <laughs> yes. So I'm trying to be smart and logical with everything. So I invested it all. And that's just like another game to me where, you know, crypto is obviously a gamble. So I'm not putting all my money into it because I'm not an idiot. But like, but if there are some energy, you if, you, doing. if you do your research and you know what you're doing, it can literally change your life. And it changed my life for sure. Like everything changed when that clicked. So as long as there's like a game or like, I always wonder if I'm like addicted to gambling in a, in a non gambling way, because it's like. I took a gamble by getting a degree and then moving to LA with no money in my bank account to pursue music and it worked. And then you took a gamble with like crypto, but like I don't gamble my money in casinos. So I wonder what the deal with that is. But it's always like, if there's high risk, I like thrive there. Well, it sounds like you're also like proving proving the other wrong. Like whether it's yourself That's like or all, the other yeah, people. That is 100% where it stems from, where if you tell me I can't do it, I probably will do it if it's possible. Like if it's imp obviously impossible, like you you won't walk on the moon. I'd be like, yeah, probably not. I don't want to do that. But That's so crazy, yeah. It's so, I, but I get it, and and I'm the same way. And like, if I have five hundred dollars, I'm spending four hundred of that dollars on a way to grow my business. Yeah, even though I could lose it. Yeah, than buying food, and I'm gonna go hungry for a few days, and I I'm fine with that. Like, I've never been religious or like spiritual, but whenever I go all in on something that's high risk that I want and makes sense. And it's mm -hmm. like, 
a risk that calculated risk. There's yeah. I'm looking for that. It always works. Like the universe is just like, whoop, go ahead. Well, there's something about pigeonholing yourself into a position where you have to work hard for what you get. Yeah. Like if if you have everything on the line and you understand that and you got yourself there, it's like, okay, I dug myself a hole. I better fucking build a ladder to get out. Yeah. And and you have to build that ladder versus being, you know, four feet in a hole and you're like, I could probably just climb out at some point. That's And I see so many people there. Yeah. And I'm like, you could get out right now. And they just like, some people, it doesn't click. It's so strange to me. I think that's why LA is so important. And I don't think everybody needs to be here to be in this industry. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's a must, but there's something about watching so many people talented, the, the most talented person from where they come from and see them just fuck it up because they don't want to work harder than the next person. Yeah. There's something about that. That's like, it puts fire under my ass. It, it yeah. just makes you need, it makes you need to work hard. Yeah. I, I say this all the time too. Like, I've been friends with many people that made it further than any of us thought was possible. And I've also been friends with people that live with their parents now. And the only difference is that they just didn't give up. Yeah. Like it's so easy. It's it's easier said than done. But like, that's why it goes back to the thing where it's like, I don't know if I'll walk away before I'm just a complete fall off like has been dude, because I don't think that's a realistic scenario anymore with like how the game is. Well, and also... If if you're at a point where you can say that you've done things that you've only dreamed of. Yeah. Like if I walked away now, I think I would struggle with it a lot just because I would miss it. But I don't think I'd be like, I gave up. It would be like, I decided I was done. I also, though, I think that also means that you can't fall off. Yeah. You already got on and and took your seat. That's also so true. I don't know why it's such a weird thing to be like making music if you had like a high point and now you're at a lower point but you still do it doesn't make any sense to say that now that you say that well and, and it's like saying uh i actually don't know what i was gonna say how what i was gonna compare it to <laughs> <laughs> um side tangent when i was 14 i bought all my friends in my school fake ids with crypto nice with bitcoin and i got it at it was like uh 75 dollars at the time uh-huh. and i bought like probably 150 dollars worth yeah and my account got locked and it's all still there somewhere. And that's a lot of money. Wait, what did you use? Um, we used to, I don't I don't remember. My cousin's in charge of it. Okay, because you should look into it. I'm just saying just because now they're recovering all that for people. Oh, shit. If it was this thing called Mt. Gox, they got it back. Well, part of the reason it got locked is because we got caught by the FBI buying fake IDs and drugs. That'll do it. Um, but that's that's a whole different. Thing. That'll do it. But he just sent me the receipt a couple of days ago that he found. Yeah, and we it was like twelve dollars Bitcoin. Yeah, and it when Bitcoin it was like uh it was one we had like two and a half Bitcoin at one point, maybe three Bitcoin, um and then we had three Bitcoin another time and five Bitcoin another time. I'm I mean, so sorry. You're chilling. <laughs> like we that's probably had as we're talking about this. I already posted it, but that's my you forgot to post content alarm. Oh, that's smart. But uh, my, I had the same thing happen. Like, obviously, some of my friends sold drugs in high school. I feel like everyone knows at least one friend that sold drugs in high school. And he was like a hot shot. So he had a lot of Bitcoin. Oh, yeah. And he would have been like, he said he would have had like something like $100 million if he didn't lose it. And it's just like, that would kill me. <laughs> I, we had, we definitely had a good amount of money in there. <clears throat> but we used to have to go to CVS, buy a gift card for a certain store. Then we had to go do a money order to that gift card to China to some guy there who then two days later would give us a call and the money would be in an account. It was like, and we were 14, 15 yeah, years old. That is insane. It was ridiculous. I didn't even sell drugs. I just bought drugs. Yeah, it's just to on buy there. drugs. Yeah. And fake IDs and stuff. But mm. if, if we would have known. Dude, I know. Would have like, done it differently. Yeah. Especially now with like the AI stuff. I wonder like even in five or 10 years how different it's going to be. 